Hello everybody and welcome to the Soviet side of the first turn of our Road to Leningrad campaign here at Let's Talk About War Games. Now this is my first time doing a proper multiplayer game of War in the East 2, so I'm really going to be learning as I go, and I assume the same thing's happening with my opponent. Uh, Jack and I have decided not to watch each other's videos, not to see the comments, not to do anything to, uh, you know, break the fog of war that we should be having over each other. So, if you've watched that episode, the Axis Turn 1, now you're looking here at Ally Turn 1, you know a heck of a lot more than I do. But let's let's see what we've got. First of all, I mean, this is to be expected looking at the turn summary. Uh, we lost a lot of guys. That was 108,000 men. Yeah, 2,000 guns, 500 AFPs, nearly 1,000 airplanes that have been uh, lost over the first turn. And of course, this is the... Start of Operation Barbaros, so, I mean, we got caught with our pants down, and it's showing. Looking at the map here itself, here's the, uh, extent, oh man, they got all the way to Riga, didn't they? Yes, they did. I'm not sure if I'll be able to extricate these guys, but, uh, I guess we'll have to see what we can do, so. I'm not gonna worry too, too much about this right now, I know a lot of my guys are gonna be low supply, under strength, uh, not ready, but, I mean, they're gonna have to deal. What are we going to do? I guess we check the events first. Situation report. Oh, uh, yeah. Don't let Leningrad fall. Thank you. Good one. Yep. Okay. So I do have the victory points on, and that's something I always like to look at first, so I know, you know, what am I trying to fight over. And we zoom way out here and look at the whole map, and thankfully, all the victory points are very far in my rear, it seems. Got them all on the other side of the... Soro and, unfortunately not going to pronounce that, River. So I'm wondering if, and of course, uh, the area around Leningrad is just chock full of them. So I think the first thing we should be doing is a wholesale retreat. Because if we go looking down here um, at some of the soft factors, you know, some of our HQs don't have any supply. Let's take a peek at, uh, where's morale? There it is. Yeah, everyone's having a bad time, it looks like. So, uh, and uh, another one I like is War Prep. No one is ready. No one's prepared for this. <laughs> so we're not going to make them fight yet, if we have to. Um, I think because, you know, I have a sense for the overwhelming strength that the Axis can bring to bear up here in the first few weeks of the war, what I'm going to be doing is setting some speed bumps and trying to retreat to more favorable positions where hopefully by then, maybe uh, this Leningrad defense area here, these uh, this orange-pink army group can uh, kind of create a, a solid ring around the city. And, you know, i uh, not sure what group is this. Who are you? Who do you belong to? 21st Motorized Company? Mechanized. Uh, mechanized Corps. <laughs> Close enough. Uh, these guys and the Northwestern group can maybe hold along the Dogva, Dogava and have second and third defensive lines. Because thankfully the map, um, I mean, this is a, a smaller scenario, so the map cuts us off here. But that just makes it easier for me, because I think this is a very narrow stretch from Lake Skov to... Who? Uh, Lovat? So we're going to try and keep this area protected if we can. Of course, the small gap over here, along the Narva. Don't want that to fall. But right. I'm getting way ahead of myself. I'm getting turns and turns ahead of myself right now. Can we take a quick peek at the Commander's Report? And take a look at the battles. Okay. So, 66 battles. I'm just not going to read through everything. I'm not going to go through everything. Obviously, they're bombing a lot of our airfields. I'm sure that's where most of the airplanes went down. If you look at air bombing. That's their bombers. Yeah, they're throwing a lot at us. And defender bombers lost. Yeah. Oof. Oof. So we just we just lost a lot of stuff in these airfield bombings, so we, we didn't even get up in the air. 
So that's too bad. Let's go back to the land units. And a lot of surrenders. A lot of routing. Pretty unfortunate. But, I mean, nothing is jumping out at me as something I need to specifically look at. Is there anywhere we didn't get ruined? Held. Okay, so we held here. We did have a 10,000. Well, we attacked with 15,000. Looks like we had a lot of uh, guns, so... I was hoping we could find that. There we go. Where's the hex? There we are. Come on, zoom in. We've got a wonky mouse. Don't uh, don't worry about it. All right, so it's just that. Lost quite a bit. Lost some tanks. We had tanks. We had guns in place. Wonder what happened here. Okay. Um, nothing too crazy, but it did mean we, we seemed to stop them very briefly down here. So, I'm going to turn that off again. I don't... Don't show me battles. There we go. So, we're in the air planning phase, of course. And I'm going to do what I think makes sense here. Because, I mean, if we look at Northwestern Air Command... And we've got airplanes here, and this, this area's cut off, and they're hurting... I'm generally going to let the AI handle my air and handle everything else because I'm not an expert in this game, nor am I an expert, or, or do I care very much about the air war, so I'm going to let the AI do that. But I understand i got to do some housekeeping. So Northwestern Air Command is attached to Northwestern Front HQ. That's fine. Are you down by Riga? I think he's under there. Where if I can... Uh... Ugh range to. It must be under here. So we're not going to change that up. What we are going to do is change the type of mission to retreat, because I'm going to be trying to pull HQs and everything back, and I just want these airplanes out of here, because they're going to just keep getting bombed. We can't uh, deal with the... Uh, oof. Just seeing the uh, combat. Uh, we're not going to deal with the, the Luftwaffe just running us over for another turn or two, if I can help it. Um... I wonder if I should put them on rest for a turn or two, just to see if they will get out of there. No, I'm afraid that'll uh, prevent them from moving, and I don't quite know yet, so I'm going to let them stay on mixed. Uh, asset priority is three, it's priority is three, that's, that's fine. All I want to do is make sure they're following Northwestern Front HQ, and that they're set to retreat so that they will hopefully extricate themselves from this, this trouble area. Because, I mean, look, look at these, like... To run it down here. God, no, I don't want planes here anymore. Okay. Um, our second major air command. Baltic Fleet. Lower asset priority, same supply priority, no problem. Day and night normal. Leningrad front. I'm going to keep them on flexible because I'm going to want uh, airplanes launching from up here to help, at least with this first line from Riga onwards. I know there's a mechanized unit right here, but I'm hoping the river and maybe some air support we can we can dig in and, and help out. And maybe maybe I can do something with these guys, because there's a lot of units just to toss to the wind. But yeah, so they're, they're fine. I'm going to leave them. And lastly, Leningrad Air Command. Um, more asset priority. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Trying to build up Leningrad Air Command if we can. See if they won't be a bit more uh, able to handle what comes later. Ooh, I suppose I should be looking at reinforcements, because I haven't been. There we go. Let's turn at the bottom. Turn one. Turn one, army. Okay, so we're getting some replacements every turn. Okay, okay, okay. A lot of these are, are small, but... Oh, we're losing some too. Great. Yeah, we're just losing some units. Not the motorcycles. Well, that's turn four, and that's very few of them, so okay, that's fine. This is this is just a stalling game. So 
I'm going to tick on... I think I'll do the, the debug management at the end, right? Yeah, we're going to execute the error directives now. Because again, I'm letting the AI do it. I know it's not optimal, but I'm not going to stop myself. But I, I just want things to retreat. So hopefully we're not going to see too many uh, sorties going up from anywhere because there's no recon to be doing in the back and at the front I've told them to retreat and they've taken a massive beating so they just don't have that many planes to throw up in the first place. Yep, no problem. No missions. Everything's auto. Nothing happened, which means no one died. Okay, now we're in the ground phase and I need to figure out how the heck I'm going to extricate myself from the situation. They really should have hired someone competent instead of giving me the job. All right. So looking at the you know the combat strength of my units here with ones and twos and everything is just brutal, and I've got too many units here that I can get run over. So I need to make use of the railways where I can, and it looks like I can't <laughs> in a lot of places. Um, but I think honestly at this point I just need to escape. So you don't need to turn you on. These are your units, and basically I just want to get these guys out of here. You have a range of, what, 15? 29th Rifle Corps is a range of 15 for its units. So we are going to throw you all the way back up, if we can. Where to? Like I'm looking for a defensible terrain here, and these uh, these swamps suck. So I wonder if it would be better to leave something behind at the, you know, connection of these rivers. Can I turn off the toggle units? Yeah. I'm just going to clear everything. Right, because there's a Vilnius, and I don't know if I want to get rid of that. But anchoring some of these troops in Vilnius with the river on two sides... Um, the city to defend itself and then just swamps behind it might make it easier to hold here than, I don't know, down in Orne where it's just clear with roads. Average roads, yeah. Don't want to worry about that. Do I have the roads on? I like having the roads on. There we go. That's the good stuff. Okay. So first move is I'm going to try and get this guy out of here. So you, 184th Rifle Division... The 20th Rifle Corps. Hmm. Oh, I think there's stacking issues. Alright, well we knew that 29th Rifle Corps is getting out of here, so... You are running all the way back. Here. Get out of there. You're not going to use your... Um, you know, rail or anything, none of that. Now. This rifle division. Yeah, get up in Vilnius. So, what else is here? We have the 125th Rifle Division from the 11th Rifle Corps, and they're overextended from their command. Their command's back here. Oh, okay. Well, we're definitely going to try and get you out. That's Rifle Corps. And I wonder how far back we should go with these guys, because looks like their two units are here. We're going to sit in Postenvi. One, two, three, four, five. Oof. Okay, fine. All right, there we go. No one, no one point that out. So that's these two units are now taken care of and that leaves the 16th rifle corps hq which again i don't want sitting in here its units are over here i wonder if we should be breaking some of these up to just be speed bumps but again we'll deal with that in a second i think yeah 16 rifle corps and 11th rifle corps can be in charge of kind of stopping this push in the south. So we're going to throw you up in the same stage as everyone else. And what we're going to be doing is just moving back into better positions. 
Alright, so you're not in range. One, two, three, four, five. Um, you have 16 graphic core here? Yes. I'm always getting the numbers confused and I don't want to mess up here. So you, you're going to sit right here in this handy little spot. you got the rivers on both sides. You're in the swamp. It's a... Uh, Light woods, that's what we need. Oh, and of course everyone's wrecked from these combats. It'd be great if we could refit you. Now these mechanized divisions. I want to preserve my mechanized, my motorized, my tanks as much as I possibly can. I know it's a tough ask, but we're going to try and pull them back as far as we can. Now I wonder if, I bet by next turn, this entire area will be overrun. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping against hope that it's just not going to be. So I'm going to try and retreat, because I'm going I'm to try and make speed bumps. So, yep, 84th mech, get up here. We're going to be doing the same thing with a lot of our tank units, but let's keep going with 11th Army. You just need to get the hell out of here. And we're going to take you all the way back here to... Crowds level. I know it puts a lot of its troops out of command radius, but again, the whole point is to get them all out of here if we can. You actually have some points, some men. A bit of fatigue and just no one's battle ready. We're going to sit you... Actually, 15 on 15 to your army. Huh. I still, I'm going to sit you back here. So because you have some ability, maybe sticking you in the light woods here wouldn't be the worst thing. Or not, I should really be sticking to defending Vilnius, as is. Um, with the next speed bump being these troops in the river. So we're going to have these guys go back and support these depleted troops on the river. And you're going to sit there. These are your cohort. Um... So I guess the, the next thing is trying to figure out where am I going to try and stop in this region. Because again, it's not looking it's not looking great. MEC, of course, has Strength 9, Defense 9, uh, Motorized Division there. There's a Tank Division down there. Um, I feel like this area, Penevisi, Penevisi? Could be the place, you know, trying for a couple roadblocks along here up to Riga. It's not the one I intended to make the, uh, this is where I wanted the, the true line to be. So I guess it depends on looking at who is in fighting shape and getting them where they need to be and who isn't. So the 23rd Rifle Division, they're in good shape. I want them to be somewhere useful, so we're going to plop them hope there's no blocking roads. I'm going to assume not. We're going to plop them here, where all these roads and highways and railroads convene. So I'm basically writing off this entire part of the map, right? Okay. So we think you're intact, you're intact, you're the second wave here, you're the headquarters for these guys. Uh, here, this mess, this railway line. I'd like to keep this sorted. Okay, these guys just got destroyed. So they're going to be falling all the way back, yeah. Now these security units, they're not super hot. Yeah. So I think they're, they're literally going to be speed bumping as much as I can. You, though, Another mechanized core. Yeah, I think we gotta get you out of here because you're all right. Hmm. Your eleventh army. That's eleventh army. Yep. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna try and spread them out a little bit. Just kind of afraid to see everyone get absolutely hammered. 
Uh, your tank unit, second tank division. We're going to defend... I know it's light woods. But there's also a town in there. Is this clear then? Yeah, we're going to stick you here. Clear. Let's try and do a couple bounding spaces here. So we're going to stick you with the HQ. Do that again, see what's this under their direct command. You mechanized the units with no movement. I believe I already tried to pull them out of here, so fortunately they're just going to have to stay there. I suppose I could... No, I can't reel them. Oof. Yeah, it's too bad that the, these units up here are trapped. I'll have to deal with them in a second. What's I doing? Look at me getting distracted. Anti-tank brigade. Rifle division. Tank division. Tank division again. I'm going to try and pull back to be somewhere useful. I think we're going to sit you on the road in the clear behind the river here. Do a couple hexes before we get to the major river. Can't go any further, so I don't want to ruin you there. So we're going to sit you here. And that's put you in command range. Now, I don't want to abandon this southern defense very well. Is that on top of the river? Okay, the river just kind of stops here. Heavy woods. We can keep some things in the heavy woods there. So my, my idea is Vilnius in the bottom anchor, up the river, and then something something over here. <laughs> so I think we're going to be hopping through some of the, the uglier terrain, maybe up here to this river and back down around. Just hoping to keep the major rail lines okay, like this one here, uh, and the ones in the back, but understanding that this is just all lost. Trading ground for lives, right? Get the units back on here. And you're okay where you're standing, and so are you. You are in range. But I'm going to stick you here. And same with you. We're going to stick you. These are light woods. Over here in the light woods. Sorry, the people of Utana. We gotta, gotta go where we gotta go. So now we basically have our little, you know, lumpy line leading over to the river here. I would love it if I could move this guy more, but unfortunately they're just going to have to be stuck. And these guys deplete. I'm hoping they can refit. Uh, if they're if they're depleted, they really just should be retreating and try and refit. No. Okay, we have you kind of speed bumping out in the woods here. Uh, security, no matter. 33 Rifle Division from the 16th Rifle Corps. I'm going to stick you back with your headquarters. And try and ask you to refit, if you can. 5th Rifle Division, you're hurt. Yeah, you've had a bit of a... a uh, you lost a battle and in there, and you have a bit of a rough one, so... I wonder if we shouldn't just, again, stick you in a slightly more defensive position in this villainous corridor. You, my friends, will sit here and hold the road. You two have bad supply, unready. Uh, I think you're going to sit here when I move these units out of here. Right, you, I don't know if your headquarters are going to survive this, so we might have to transfer, but what we can do is just throw you way back along the heavy river we wanted to, the Dog Dagava, and ask to refit. And you again, your, your tank, so I get it's harder, but we'll throw you back as far as we can as long as we get on the other side of the river. Try and refit. 
And you... You with units everywhere are going to be throwing way back in the north here. Up to Belmera. Just get you clear. Okay. So I've definitely fallen back everywhere. I forgot about you. Because you're the one whose HQ's over there. Uh, if we're continuing this line that I was talking about, trying to have one hex or two between, then you need to go here. And refit. Now this is the problem. Riga's fallen. And if we look, there's Northwest Air Command and Northwest Front. So, first thing we're going to do is get these two. And they're going to fall back to somewhere more reasonable. Where should that be? I'm trying to think of the next, like, sizable town or victory point town. And that would be over here. That scoff. But... I suppose an interim step... Would just be throwing them back towards Smiten. I mean, they have a very large range as it is. Nine, or, yeah. That's to their commands, I understand, but it's, it's fairly large. So we're going to throw them back to... So we want the air to be able to cover eventually. I just want the air to pull out of here. So I guess I need to go as far east as I can. Now, there's no town here. We're going to sit here in Velomero with the other HQ. No. Yeah, we've kind of cleaned this up a bit. I, I'm not so sure about what I've done here to the east of Utena. I like my Vilnius Corridor. I like my defense along the uh, line here. I'd love to pull some of these units forward. Where's your HQ? Right there, okay. So the 24th Rifle Corps, you're coming to the front. You're coming to Vilnius. Oh, sorry, not Vilnius. Riga. So let's get you... 183rd is going... 1, 2... Yeah. I'm going to do this. That wasn't where I meant to click. Thank goodness for an undo button. You're coming to here. Wait, which one's actually Riga? Oh, they haven't actually taken Riga. Oh, I thought for sure underneath all that th that this uh, Panzer Corps unit, or sorry, goodness, the motorized division here had taken the city, but they haven't. That is encouraging. I wonder if it wouldn't be better to occupy this with the division just to keep them from being able to attack from more than one hex right off the bat. Or if I'm better off defending along beside them. I'm going to err on the side of having the road. Now this anti-tank brigade, for sure you're going to come sit in Riga proper. And of course, HQ. Uh, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Who do you belong to? You belong to this. I've been putting this off, can you tell? I don't know how. Oh my goodness, there's so many headquarters here. And over here, too. This is a. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> Alright, so I can attempt a breakout, or these guys are just done, right? Eventually they're gonna get uh, starved out and swarmed. Because where is. If we go to map. Not real damage. Looking for supply. Oh, supply priority, of course. Hmm. Why is there generating supply? No, there's too many units here to be cut off. It's, it's not going to be good. So it's all HQ here. Here we've got 
just several depleted units, and nobody can really move aggressively. Ugh. These guys might just be ruined, so what I should probably do is try and create as much of a defensive position as I can. Which to me is just going to be spreading out along the rail here. Sorry guys. It's not pretty, but they're just going to get in the way. And I wish I could get all three of these out of here, but I think what they're going to have to do is uh, basically stay put. I want them to be in range to help out. Uh, you. You who are... Oh, of course, that's the... Ugh. Having 8th Army HQ here is not great. So, you need to change. No, no, no. I can't have these cores attached to an army that's going to get destroyed. I guess you're going to be part of 11th Army now? Who else you got? Signed. Where are you hiding? Well, it doesn't matter. Units limit. We're going to throw you into the Northwestern Front. I know it's a... Uh, we're losing a level here, but that's just the way it is. Which was a back button. Eighth Army again. We've also got... Tenth Rifle Corps. And we're going to be sticking you to... That. Okay, so I believe now... Tenth Rifle Corps. I mean... I was sticking the wrong HQs, eh? Okay, well, nothing, no one's relying on them now, that's the uh, the main thing. I don't think I want to do any, like, attacking this turn. I do think I need to be putting more defenses here. So we do have 22nd Rifle Corps. And what I'd hate is for an easy breakthrough all the way up here. And then, you know, through this little pass towards Leningrad, which would skip by my entire defensive line down here. So I want you guys to start making some defensive positions along the important railways, guessing that we might lose Riga. So your HQ, well, let's do this right. 183 football division is going to go down to this junction here. That's a swampland, I don't know if I want to fight in a swampland. Ah, hell, I'll risk it. I'll have to look up what Swamp does to defending units. Your co-division here, 100 second, 8 second is gonna throw yourself down here. This is not really a defensive line as much as it's just a defensive position. Just throwing some units into key positions where I can see them. Okay, you. I'd like this unit out of here. I don't care about this victory point. So we're gonna just... Uh, city fortification? No. I don't want you to be attached to the city. If I just move you. There. We showed you what for. And also a rifle regiment. Can't even move you. The security unit. I can throw you into the city, into the victory point, just so it's not giving it away. That's great. We're going to start plopping these security units in what I hope are key towns along the railways. So there you go. Heavy Woods, railway junction. Moved you. 
get you down here. I'm not expecting naval invasions. And security unit. Let me throw you here. I understand that's not the, the hardest of units, I'm just trying to cover my bases as best I can. We're not going to get rid of the HQ, nor the Naval Brigade. You can sit here and block the city. I'll deal with them later. Okay, what's going on down here? Got a couple of these uh, airborne units. I don't think I want the airborne sitting here. So what we're going to do is throw you back into the line inside this river like I was thinking. I feel like this there is a area will be where control switches from one army to the other. Security forces you're going to get on the proper side of the river. Okay. I think Northwest Front is done. I'm guessing. <laughs> uh, next turns after action report will tell. Now here. What are you doing here? I don't like the fact that this is so much empty space, but I'm, I'm kind of expecting this to roll up and fall back as we, we go. So again, the major points are going to be this mess here and what I can do to defend that. So this is a unready, but still okay stack. We're going to throw you back into Polsk. Your artillery, and you can't move. Everyone just refit. We have a turn, I believe, before anything bad happens. Refit. Who do you control? Your 22nd Army. Okay. I guess you can sit here. Okay, what can I do? I feel like I don't want them before this victory point, so we're going to throw them back on the road here. And yeah, I, I'm thinking... This guy I can't move, so that's fine. Nor can I move these units yet, because they're refitting. He's going to sit here in the town. And yeah, this, this mess, so... There's an HQ here. Okay. Right, got the HQ here, 21st, motorized, core, yes. And there are three units strung out here, and what we're going to try and do is just build up another little wall the way we've been doing it, because the idea would be from Lake Piskov all the way down. So, you, 1st Mechanized Division, are going to sit here on this town. You are going to sit... Yeah. You sit right here with your HQ. And you, you're going to sit on the inside of this river. Same thing inside of the river. And we'll have these guys string out if they can to cover the bottom side. Again, as these things move, or become able to move, hopefully, we can build the line a bit better. Now, I know we have lots of victory points here, and I don't want to lose these guys, but I also don't want to give it up that easily. So we've got some hills here. So, 112 Rifle Division. Get your butt on the hill with the railways. 90th Rifle Division. We're gonna head down here. Cover the river. And 153rd Rifle Division. Yeah, I guess we'll sit you here. Again, in the way. There's the HQ. That's this. Seems reasonable. 
might be a problem giving up this town, but hopefully it'll, you know, won't be run down. Now, trying to create my line here. None of these guys are going to move. You can move. So we are unfortunately going to throw you down here. I'm keeping... Ugh, there's nothing in town. Can't move. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we're going to keep you there. And I don't want them sitting in the town, though, because they're a tank division. But they might... No, we're going to throw you down here. Still in range, yeah? Yes. No, nope, six to five. Going. Solved. Now I bet there's a reason to keep these guys here that I'm not smart enough to know about, but we're going to spread. No. This will be something for later. Now you... I think I'll just wait for more units to come in. Hopefully get these guys refit if I have enough resources to go around. And I think that's basically all I can do. Okay, not a very exciting turn, but I'm just trying to talk through my uh, my plans here. We got our, our nice, you know, speed bump of a line here with Northwest. These guys should create some problems. These guys are a write-off. Got our second line forming. Got some uh, units just coming down to hopefully make this difficult for them to get up to the north near Tallinn. And haven't touched much around here, but I think we gotta just wait. So now that I'm done everything, I'm gonna pull back, turn on AI Depot Management, because I don't want to deal with that. And next turn. And my turn. Okay, so we're delivering. Oh. Yes, we're delivering freight out of that region and being protected by. Uh, being opposed by the Luftwaffe, who isn't doing anything, so I'll, I'll take it. I bet this will go on for quite some time. Alright, there was a lot of freight delivery, but we uh, cut that out for everyone's convenience. Thank you for sticking around for turn one of the Allies in War in the East 2, the Road to Leningrad scenario. And uh, check in in a few days for Axis Turn 2 and see what Jack does with what I give him. Thanks for tuning in.